Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is great to be here uh, today for the completion of the Florence Griffin Joyner Safe Routes to School project. Uh, the Florence Griffin Joyner Elementary School services approximately 750 students in the pre-kindergarten through fifth grades. And all the students walk, bicycle, or are driven to school. And we, of course, are joined by some of them today. Guys, thanks for joining us. We're glad to have you this morning. Uh, on a daily basis, children and parents are faced with crossing two wide intersections immediately adjacent to the school. Now this project encompasses numerous intersection improvements in the vicinity of the school, including the highly trafficked location where we're standing right now here at Fairmont and Dwight. And I think you can all see uh, the level of traffic necessitates some improvements, and I'm glad that we're here to deliver it. I want to recognize the City Heights Area Planning Committee, who are actively involved in moving this project forward. In fact, the planning committee actually helped to write the grant and organize the celebration for the first Safe Routes to School project in the city of San Diego. That project is located at Euclid Elementary, uh, also right here in City Heights. The committee also had a role during the grant writing process, walked the proposed site with our city staff, and reviewed suggested improvements. The City Heights community has always been supportive of traffic calming and pedestrian safety features uh, that are uh, because we are a community of walkers and have such a young, large population of young people. This project actually amounted to $1.2 million uh, in, in improvements and was well worth the investment to provide the safety enhancements that were needed to provide safe and adequate walking routes for school children, general pedestrians, and bicyclists. This project was funded through a state grant uh, from Caltrans, and the remainder of the funds came from the city's transnet, transnet allocation. I want to extend a sincere appreciation, of course, to the community, to my great colleague, Councilmember Marty Emerald, who is the representative for City Heights, our wonderful city team represented today by the Director of Transportation and Stormwater, Kip Sturdivant, uh, and the Public Works Right-of-Way Division Deputy Director, Marnell Gibson, and the rest of the Public Works team uh, who are with us today. Guys, where are you at? Raise, raise your hands. Make sure that you're all acknowledged. Thank you so much for what you do. Just a handful of the 10,000 people who would make sure the city works well. Uh, and lastly, I would just say I want to thank Mark Kassab, who we're in front of his business. This project is mainly for our local children, but we know some of his customers uh, need to have some safety to get um, some, uh, some food here. So, Mark, thanks for being a supportive business owner here in the community. And with all that, I will turn it over to my great colleague, Marty. Marty? Thank you. Thanks, Todd. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you for being here. You know, mentioning, uh, mentioning Mark, uh, it was just about a year ago we were here in the parking lot with the police department giving away bicycles to neighborhood kids and uh, the community was basically taking their lives into their hands crossing Fairmont here and uh, everybody said almost to the person uh, we really need a light here and thanks to all of the people who are here today the community members who had the foresight to apply for grants our experts at the city who made it all this construction happen uh, and kids uh, who are our inspiration uh, we've got a light and uh, I noticed that people still aren't quite used to uh, the w stepping off off the curb at this point uh, because they're so used to basically taking their lives into their hands to get across the street so this is a wonderful wonderful development I want to thank the mayor I want to thank all of our uh, construction crews and uh, directors of uh, our uh, transportation and stormwater and our public works for making this happen life and safety of course paramount for the city of San Diego and this project will provide safer routes for pedestrians and school children in this City Heights community with many improvements uh, that you can see and maybe you don't see. Uh, this new street light, of course, uh, the, the signal, everybody can see that. But we've painted the streets with uh, very visible crosswalks to communicate to everybody that this is where pedestrians are. Uh, give them a break. Uh, we've got pop-outs uh, at 42nd and Myrtle, all along Myrtle and Van Dyke. And, and uh, these pop-outs help to narrow the streets so the traffic will slow down and uh, watch out for pedestrians and bicyclists. We've worked closely with the community to design these improvements, did everything possible to keep the community informed about the construction process. In, in fact, Mr. Varnador from the, the, the town council is here. Thank you for your leadership. I know you, you're there nudging every, every step of the way. 
And uh, so thank you everybody. This is what can happen when we all work together toward the same goal, public safety and quality of life. And uh, we wouldn't be able to do it, of course, without the expertise of our city crews. And I'd like to introduce you now to uh, the director of our transportation and stormwater department, Kip Sturdivant. Thank you, Councilmember Emerald. I appreciate that. Projects like these, offering protections for children and families, are the essential core of city services. Our department is responsible for the building of streets and sidewalks that take us into and outside our neighborhoods. These right routes are the reliable pathways to and from our homes, our jobs, our schools, and to the hearts of our community. They are also the part of the familiar route our children follow every day. Our department is proud to be part of the Safe Routes to Schools program. We have a division, the Traffic Engineering Division, which worked closely with our colleagues in the Public Works Department to design the new features, which you see today, which protect the path to the Florence Griffith Joyner Elementary School. I am proud of the work that has been accomplished and extremely pleased to join you today in the opening and the unveiling of this endeavor. Congratulations to the fine crews that installed these improvements, and congratulations to the children and families now better protected by this work. I would now like to turn the podium over to Deputy Director Marnell Gibson from the Public Works Department's Right-of-Way Division. Marnell? Thank you, Kip. Well, we take these endeavors very ser seriously, and although this is a small project in our grand scheme of workload, there's no project that is too small in our eyes. We are really excited to be able to provide these pedestrian improvements, and hopefully in the future, we might see one of these people designing these types of works, sitting in a council member seat, or potentially even being the mayor. So we are very thrilled to keep them safe and keep them on their forward path. I wanted to extend a special thanks to Murphy's Market for providing the gracious opportunity to, one, be patient, and then also accommodate us today. And also for our staff. I'm, I'm standing up here at the podium, but the people who really did this work are standing right over here. And I would like to recognize Mark Giandoni, Alex Slayman, Brad Johnson, and Nick Menensala. They worked through the design and then carried it through construction. And of course, this project would not ever come to be without the participation from our community members. You're the force that helps push these projects through and see them come to fruition. And we also work very closely with KIPP's group, the Transportation and Stormwater Pro Department, in order to intake these projects and get them out and make them become a reality for all of you. So with that, I would like to thank everybody. Uh, we also had Harris Consultants involved in this project, and Tri Group was the contractor that got it in the ground. And I think it sum, summed it up when I talked to Mark and he came out here and he said, this is a great project because when you look at it, it looks like it was always here. And that's the objective, to make it fit. Thank you very much. Thank you all for being here. This is the end of our program. And I just, uh, again, appreciate your attendance today. Uh, we want to continue the forward progress we have here in City Heights. There's so many good things going on. This is just one of many. And lastly, to our young people who are here, which one of you is going to be the mayor in the future? I want all those hands going up. Any of you can be it. All of you can be it. And I'm, this project is just for you. We care and love you guys enough that we want to make sure that you're safe getting to and from school. We all doing good in school? We all got good grades? Yeah? All right. I believe you. <laughs> guys, thanks for being here. Let's cut a ribbon. Three, two, one. Yeah.